hills and trails of Calamar Park in West Kelowna are home to joggers and runners of all abilities. Back in the early 1980s, a 15-year-old Phil Ellis began his running career here. That began a track that took him from Kelowna to race sites around the world. Phil was also one of thousands of athletes who train and run events at Kelowna's Apple Bowl over the years. Those memories still stick. The Apple Bowl is, uh, you know, love-hate relationship. I mean, we spent lots of time here. I mean, sometimes I remember dreading coming to workouts here, but at the same time, you like the results that it gives you. So, um, yeah, spent a lot of time here. Well, you can't get much success without the workout. You know that. So, <laughs> no. Uh, take me through. How tough was it uh, being a track athlete, a runner? Well, you know what? Back in the early 80s, uh, it was, I think, tougher than it is now. Um, there was a different mentality that, then. And uh, I remember doing like a workout here, 24 by 400. And you'd never get guy, kids 16 year old doing that anymore. But uh, it built my mental toughness and <laughs> like it was a long workout. It was. <laughs> Were you collapsing at the end? Pretty close, yeah. Ellis always wanted to be the fastest in his class, the fastest on the road and on the track. Success came his way very early on, winning his first Kelowna Half Marathon at just 16 years of age. I beat a guy um, who was one of Canada's top marathon runners at the time, and it basically made him decide, you know what, if a 16-year-old kid beats me, maybe my years of the sport are getting close to being done. I remember it was a hot day, and I ran one, one hour and eight minutes on a, around the streets here of Kelowna. And at the time, I didn't realize how, you know, Good of a performance that was. That win fueled his desire for more. He set records at Canadian Championship events, the Harry Jerome race in Vancouver, and a Canadian record at an event in London, England. He could cover 10K faster than almost any challenger, but admits he would train differently today if he had the chance to run it all over again. I pushed myself too hard. I think if I knew, if I know what I know now, I'd have been a smarter athlete and I'd have been a better athlete. But I was, uh, I mean, <laughs> some of the guys that knew me, they could tell you, like, it was like, there was one kind of speed, one kind of effort, and it was all, you know, go as hard as you could. And that, no, you know, I still run, and I know that's not the way to run now. It's still kind of ingrained in me, but uh, yeah. So if I could do it over again, um, you know, hindsight's 2020. That, I, I, at the same time, I'm, I'm proud of everything I did. I, I know that I, I did the best I could at the time and uh, you know I never I was one of the toughest guys to beat I never gave up I know when I was racing if I ever got a lead on you you never came back on me I never once had a guy come from behind um, so that you know I was tough and uh, but could I have done better yeah I think most definitely I was very green and I you know it was a time where we didn't know as much as we know now about training and it'd be, it'd be interesting to know with the the, the ideas out there now and the technologies out there now, what I could have, could have ended up running in a 10K. I'm sure it'd be faster than I did. <laughs> <laughs> he not only won big races around the world, he ran away with five gold medals, five silver and four bronze at the Canadian National Championships. He competed for Canada at track meets in England, Ireland and Japan, and now makes his way into the Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame in the athlete category.